Hey YouTube, this is JE Productions 1 and this is a video on the Type 88 like machine gun. It was available um, immediately once I think once you uh, pre ordered Battlefield 3, so you got it from the beginning, a few extra guns to start you off. Um, but I guess the people that have already had the game a long time, it's not really that good. It just gives you like a few more attachments, like um, fast press for the SKS, this and Fushette, I think, for the DAO. And also it gave you the day one early unlock for the DAO. So, um, yeah, but it gives you the extra gun, so I think that's why. You can download it now um, for free, it doesn't cost you anything. Which is good, and uh, I think I've found that this is actually my favourite light machine gun. I really don't go on support a lot, and if I do, I'll probably use like personal defence weapon, or, like the PP19. But um, I haven't used this for ages. I had like two service stars of it because I didn't like the uh, that first gun you get, like the massive M416. Um, I didn't really like that or the M249. Um, I'm not a big fan of LMGs, so. I've just got a third service star. Oh, and I just got knifed. And as you can see, 21 and 5. Um, and I had about 17 and 4 earlier before I start the video. So I do quite good on with this gun. Um, you can see my loadout is the Cobra extended magazines and the bipod. Uh, I never use like I like never use a foregrip with a like, light machine gun because bipods. I mean, look at if you look if you can see the crosshairs, and then you look at them and after bipod it's like really small and it's just super accurate fire it's just a oh, way better I, if you use the fall grip it's just I don't know same with the suppressor it just really I think reduces range and damage I don't know if it re reduces damage but I think it definitely reduces range anyway yeah. I really don't like it it also kind of takes away the manliness of it you know what I mean? If you see like a massive like machine gun, like loads of rounds being fired at you, but then you put a suppressor on it, it's like pew 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 pew. So that's not you're just not intimidated by that as it would being suppressed by an actual really loud machine gun. I guess it just doesn't have the same effect apart from actual in-game effect of blurred vision and terrible accuracy and all the other stuff. Yeah. But this would def <laughs> this would definitely be my um, recommendation for your support class if you're not a big fan of the other guns. I mean, the M240 Bravo, I don't know, the M240B and the uh, Bipod Time and the M60, I just never use, like, at all. I mean, I have, but, like, I've got about 10 kills with them, literally. I'm really bad with them. Um, M249, I think I've got one or two service stars of it. But again, I really not a lot compared to other guns. Uh, um, PKP, I've got three service stars for that, same as this. But I don't know. I, I, I like I said, I still I haven't used the support class in absolutely ages. And you can see um, my pistol is the M1911 normal. I should probably put um, tactical light on it though. I don't know why I wouldn't put one on. It's not as if it um, decreases anything. And is it exactly the same? And shit, where have you run off to? Ah, yeah, that's annoying. When you when, you know when you see someone, you go after them, and then you lose track of them. And yeah, what's it coming on, dude? Oh, what the hell? You just disappear on there. What the fuck. Okay, so um. But yeah, um, I, I usually use a pistol with quite a small magazine if I have a weapon with a high magazine. And say if I have one a, a primary with a small magazine and maybe like or a fast rate of a high rate of fire, then I'm going to use a pistol with a large magazine because you'll probably find yourself changing to your sidearm um, more frequently or less frequently depending on the gun. So if I've got a big magazine in the Type 88, I'm probably not going to reload a lot and I'm not really going to have to switch to it. Don't, don't go out the map. No, 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 no. Yeah. There's a guy here as well. <laughs> I'm 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? Oh, fucking M26 star. 34 service stars though. That's overpowered, but I don't know. Yeah, I mean, yeah. That was annoying, man. Even though I use it myself, I gotta admit. But not all the time, because my favourite assault rifle is the F2000. So I don't use it too often. Uh, as I was saying, the M911, I like it because um, of the high damage. I don't really think it matters much about the magazine. Oh, what? Well. If not, I usually use the MP443 tactical, or suppressed, on my assault anyway. Um, but I use the Magnum on my engineer just because I couldn't shoot mines of it and stuff. And obviously it's an engineer, that's kind of part of your job. And also for when you can put mines behind the tank and then you shoot them with the 44 Magnum. I think I've got a video of that. I've got a clip. I um, might put it on the end of this video and it's just, that's just really cool. I've done that quite a lot now actually. And you know, the, 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 the driver's just like, what the fuck. You know, they just really don't know what the hell just went, what, was, what the hell just happened, so. That's really funny. And uh, just really awesome to see that you got a, you, you just destroyed a tank with a magnum. It's pretty awesome. Can do, you can shoot C4 with it as well. So I could put it on this class I suppose, but um, I just haven't done. Uh, so yeah, that was some quite good gameplay, 35 and 13. So thanks for watching guys. Um, please like, comment, subscribe and watch my videos.